impressive. Whoa. All right, game two, Smashville again. Zach says, that was stupid. That's not fair. Yeah, he's not even gonna dance to that. <laughs> he ain't got time to dance to that. Oh, okay. Well, gets back on stage right here. It's a nice little combo at the beginning, but I mean, it really doesn't add that much damage. Still looking for that air dodge down, and he's getting the right idea. I just think Mewtwo is a little too light uh, and gets away with a little more than, uh, say, a very light, light, or a very heavy character like maybe Mario or something. Yeah. Uh, you know, Rob or something like that. 92% taking so much percentage. Oh, oh okay. slides right into that. Oh. Okay. Well, well Wadi is out the gate. Just bringing the house down on Captain Zach right now. He just did run up up smash. What the hell is that? That's wild. That's effective. That's what that is. Got him. Oh, jukes. Hardest jukes. He's got him off on the side. Now there's the Nair, and he's probably going to explode with this combo. Already 44%. And he's jumping into it. He's running into the same stuff that we saw Pink Fresh jump into. Yeah, yeah. I mean, oh. he is just lighting Captain Zack up right here. I mean, it's, I don't know if this is a result of that cooldown Captain Zack had from not playing since Winners Finals or, you know, a little bit of fire Maybe. that Wadi's caught, but it is certainly benefiting him here. Okay. I'm not going to get that stock either. Okay. There you go. I don't think Wadi meant to pull that shadow ball up like uh, like that, but however, you know, still got a lot of damage here on uh, on uh, Captain Zack right now. Ooh. Okay. All right, 2-0 lead here in Grand Finals set one for Wadi. That reset looking like a very real possibility. Yep. Unless the captain can regain control of this ship. All out of control. He's going to need four more games to be able we're to pull this the place, off. Baby. Yeah, he he kind of is all over the place right now. Though. Yep. Here we go. Next game, Smashville again. Zach just kind of stubbornly picking the stage over and over. Got to wonder if there's a better stage you could be picking for this situation or just a comfort pick or if he genuinely believes. Oh, no. Not quite. He's cool, he's cool, he's cool. Got him off on the side right now. Wadi trying to fight his way back. He's actually chasing him all the way off. Okay, should be able to make it back. Finally get back uh, to a safe spot on the stage, but enough to get scooped up. Man, Wadi is playing so phenomenal right now in this yeah. first set of grand finals. Doing an awesome job. There's the fair. Come off on the side, charge up the shadow ball. Nothing doing there. Uh-oh. Got him high. Trying to keep him up there. No Wadi escaping there. That predicament. Trying to knock him all the way up. Does not happen. This guy's pretty even right now. Oh, up smash. Yeah. You gotta imagine that was a tech flub. That was yeah. a little wild too, so gotta I would agree with that. Maybe something like a uh, short hop Ooh. up air, something like that, but it gets him off on the side of the stage. And he's gotta recover very high. Trying to minimize his damage. Still hit right back off. Zach is just so good at edge guarding. Yeah. Well, I mean I, as of right now, I mean it really is up to the next big hit from both sides. Oh, okay, he's oh, okay. run up and do it. Yep. Been a lot of run up and do it in the set so far. We saw a run up up smash from Wadi earlier, and now we got a run up and a uh, four throw. No one can finish the game right there. Nice punish. Okay, well, would have been a nice punish if we got all of it. But still, got the, still got the heel slide, which I was not expecting him to get. Yeah. Watch the shadow ball at the ledge. For some reason, he keeps getting it. Oh, wow. All right, I mean, he's Couldn't snake past that. that one. Yeah. He's very content with that. Stay in place, you come to me, I'll make you pay. Wadi is doing so good in terms of getting back on the stage. Like, he's never really at too much risk when he's off stage. And against a player like Zach, who's so good off on the side in terms of edge guarding, that's really impressive. Ooh. With Definitely grab again. Flat. Close. 
Good stuff on that fourth throw. Wadi does not want to give Zach any kind of momentum. He wants to take this 3-0, move on to the next set. Trying to get there. Uncontested. He's looking, he's looking like it. And now he's still got the percent lead. Captain Zach has not been able to find any of those godlike conversions we, we have come to know and love from him. Uh oh. Wadi can get like a forward air, maybe another one of those raw up smashes, but I don't think he could just go for it anymore. His percent's too high. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of just go for it from uh, Captain Zach, though. It seems like he doesn't really care about his percent. Yeah, yeah. Captain Zach, I mean, he's the, the, throughout the majority of this set, I mean, he's just been picking a lot of just kind of risky and wild options here. And they haven't necessarily been paying off the most, but I mean, this one, he's keeping it pretty close. I'm up on the side. He's going all the way off. But again, Wadi always getting back to the stage without taking a crazy I, amount of percent. I actually did not like that option at all. Like, if Wadi would just do that. Uh, the guns? Simple, yeah, yeah. The way that he did the guns, at least. I mean, I'm usually okay with guns, but the way he dropped all the way in there, that really gave Wadi a lot of time for him to decide. Yeah. Maybe I should throw this at him. Right. Trying to get back. He does use the Smashville platform very smart. Wadi is trying to find an opening. He's trying to find like a forward air, maybe a grab for an up throw. He's trying oh. to find something, that shadow ball. Zach is just not giving it to him. Yeah, that shadow ball coming through yet again. But not on the player that is Captain Zach. As you say, you know, Wadi definitely for this opening. Not getting it yet, but also, oh, maybe. Maybe. That's gonna do That's it. it. Yes, yep. it is. The 3-0 reset in Grand's acknowledgement from Zach right there with the head shake. Wadi on fire right now. That boy is flaming. Let's see how this goes. Got one more set between these guys again. Another best of five. They are now both in the loser's bracket. The feet is to the fire. Let's see how it goes. This is our grandest finals. The grandest of them all. All right, here it is, underway on Smashville to kick things off. Brilliant 3-0 right there from Wadi. Can he repeat it and become our Glitch 3 champion, or will Captain Zach have something else to say about that? Oh my goodness. So much damage there. He wasn't high enough to get the kill just yet. Hits him with the patented, you know, that confusion into the up smash. He's gonna have to up B, and he's not gonna make it. Dead at 30%, Wadi in high spirits. Kind of laughing about it, but you know he's got to be a little frustrated. Yeah. He's 98 right now. Trying to dance around, but Zach, a pretty hefty lead. Oh, wow, that freaking leg drop was huge. Wadi actually just got up off that ledge and tried to go for it, huh? Oh. That's so, oh. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. That's so good. Just reverse this. The way he the way he does the witch twist just sends him back out there, so it's just pretty much like uh you're out there in open waters right there. And Captain yeah. Zach doing his best Jaws impression. That was nice, man. I mean, he was like, "Look, I'm gonna take you with me." Yep. All right, I got another stock. Even if I miss this, you'll still be in good straights. I got a lot of damage on you, so really good trade uh, of a stock for a stock from Zach. That was wild. Yeah. So here we go. I guess in the All Smashville Grand Finals, because like before it was Zach counterpicking. Now it's Wadi, but. He's coming right back here. Oh, look at that. So much damage just Our starting right out. Nice. Yeah. Takes him down. The damage coming in. Okay, trying to finish that. Trying to bounce that combo all the way through. He doesn't have, have any. Back. Yeah, no, okay, you, after you is. get hit, you still get it back. Yeah, yeah, I, he didn't have any jumps or anything. Yeah. I didn't know if he'd be able to make it. So 80%. Oh. Up and over, man. Escapes. Up and over. Up and over. Okay. Gets a clean hit right here. And does not get the clean hit off of that. So it looks like we're going to get a full combo. Carrying him up. Is that going to be it? Oh, not enough. No, he got him with three hits of uh, the forward air. Yeah, instead of going for the up air. Still, though, put a lot of pressure out. I feel like Wadi might have not been able to make that. Now dead even. Good nair. Oh, Whoa. the shadow ball, yes, right on time. Punishing that landing right there in a big way. Trying to use that invincibility to find a read on the up smash, but not gonna happen here. Okay, big hit right here. Jumps over that as well. 
Oh, okay. there it is. All, All right. right. Yep. Ooh, Peter Piper. Piper. Pick, Pick a pen. There he goes. Zach is the man with the plan. Goddamn. <laughs> okay. Oh, the chase down. He definitely got the chase down. He's putting the, putting the paws on him. Why? Well, I guess. I mean, whatever those are. I mean, whatever those are. Genetically Leto. engineered pauses. Now 68. Oh no, up smash, Ooh, yeah. Wow. He, he does it every point. time. Yep. DI though. That DI was beautiful. Got super far away from that uh, blast zone, but this time it's not gonna be enough to save him. No way. No. Nope. Game two. Yep. Game two. That aggression from Zach pays off when he can actually get it, but when he's chasing Wadi around and not getting those hits, Wadi's just getting a lot of punishes. Wow, Simpa yeah. in the background having cardiac arrest at this having set. Having a fit, yeah. Like, that's when you know you're invested in your man. You feel his pain. Yep. You feel them hits. Need two more wins from either of these guys. It's the difference Close between Morton Steakhouse and Burger King. She knows, and so do you. Game three, underway. <laughs> There's a lot of people at this tournament. Yeah, actually. Definitely Morton's, yeah. Okay. So as you guys said, man, we are now uh, in the set two, one one on the board. Captain Zach trying to fight to be the, the true winner of this tournament, but Wadi already got the reset, so. Reset and four games to one right now. All together. Ooh. All right, so this is a tremendous opening here for my man Wadi. Again, trying to defend the region and doing a great job, especially uh, looking back at that first set. The clean 3-0 here. Yep. Definitely seems very much in control of this matchup against Bayonetta. And we wondered earlier, you know, is Pink Fresh just shook? Is he frustrated? But I mean, he's been handling Zach just as well. Yeah. yeah. A lot of confidence coming in from both these players, but it looks like Wadi. Might be the one on the receiving side of some confidence. Oh, just barely getting out of that. I was going to say, Wadi might be the one with the uh, utmost confidence right now, the way that he's playing. Staying in a lot of positions where he could be getting punished. Not a lot of shielding either, just kind of standing around. Uh, probably trying to bait something out from Zach, but you know, baits take confidence, man. Ooh, that was nice. Oh, patience. Not going to get the Shadow Claw, though. Wow, scoop that man up from deep. The cross up not going to be effective. Right there from Captain Zach, only going to take a uh, shadow for a shadow claw before there to the back of the head. Coming through with the nooch. Chasing Zach all around. Zach trying to find a quarter of the stage to be able to recover to. Eventually does get grabbed. 40% is his punishment. Okay, there's the back air. And that man straight up and off right now. And, oh, okay, there it is. Clean edge guarding right there from Zach. Chasing them all around. Yeah, Says, man, finally, he, he's basically flying at that right, point. Right, finally stuffing that clean movement we've seen from Wadi all game. Let's see if he can continue it on for this final stock. So much damage. See Zach kind of shaking his head a little bit. Knows he shouldn't be falling into this stuff. Well, I like that idea right there. Try to mix it up with the grab, but a little off on the mark. <coughs> oh, almost. Back throw, yep. Not ready for the up throw yet, but probably the next time. Yeah. He has no rage. That's the bigger thing. Yeah. Okay. Wild. Okay. Wow. No real punish though. I Not mean, at all. I mean, Mutual Air Dodge is that good. He was right next to the ground, still got away from that. That was a spot dodge. Yeah. Uh, uh no. No, no, no. Still going from the back throw. But the next up throw, or the next time should be an up throw. He's got a lot should of damage be. On him. Maybe just a little bit of pummeling. It's hard to say just with to no rage. Sure. Yeah. It's very hard. Okay, there it is. Man, oh, is oh that's it. Yeah. We'll yeah. find out here. Yes, it nah, is. The way he played last time, too, when he was just kind of stepping back and allowing him to, uh, to dive kick right in front of him, getting the grabs or getting the punishes. So Wadi now up 2 1. It, honestly, over Captain Zach. Zach playing a little, a little scared right there in those closing moments. I don't think that getup attack was and the answer. Yeah, that was really strange. Wadi finding a way in there. Uh, and he's one game away from taking glitch here. Would be the second glitch where we've had somebody win it from the loser's bracket. Mr. E winning glitch two from the loser's bracket over Pick Fresh. 
Let's see if Wadi can do it himself here. Captain Zach, though, of course, no intention of making this easier. Quick 25 right there within the first 10 seconds. As you said, man, quick 25 right at the beginning. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Finally get some more uh, dive kicks in here. Those dab kicks. Working out. Well, I haven't been working out too much in his favor uh, this set, but in, every now and then he still gets that extra damage off it. Yeah, I believe it's work in, out too. In winner's finals, this was the only stage that uh, that Wadi actually got a game off of Zach, if I'm not mistaken. So to get sent here, you gotta be feeling pretty good, but this is certainly not the uh, the start I'm sure he imagined. Yeah. Five percent. Zach answering back at the start of this game. Oh, oh. Well, you see what Mewtwo can do. All it takes is one of those. Okay, managed to get through there with the uh, bat with him. But even so, I mean, he's getting punished a lot trying to cross him up with those uh, Adverna kicks. Yeah. Wait. I wanna. I wanna mix up his. Uh, I guess his approach. Right. This time around, I mean, that's about the second or third time I remember him getting hit with the four there right after crossing up. One of them actually got him killed. So. Ooh. Close, does not get the up air. He's gonna come back safe, hit an up air of his own. And now he's at that percent. I mean, one grab should be enough to kill if he gets that up throw. Let's give it a recover. I mean, he's just so good at recovering. Dude, yeah. He's just, yeah, it's just perfectly executed. Really. It makes it that much harder to catch, catch him. All right, reaching out there, trying to find a grab. Hey. And the back air awaits. Yeah. Him. Excellent placement on the part of Captain Zach there. Not too far behind for Wadi though. One up smash should be able to steal steal a stock for him possibly. He's got the shadow ball too. He tosses it out. Not gonna do it, but wow, there it is. Oh yes. Yeah. Honestly, the shadow ball more of a, a a hurting tool right there to maybe set Zach up for exactly where he wanted him yeah, for he, that up smash. It looked like he just tried to limit his options. Yeah. You know what I mean? Very smart. Okay. Ooh, Try to okay, get a little Wadi. bit too much right there. Probably didn't actually want that. But either way, it doesn't take too hard of a punish, so. Another even game between them. Again, Wadi is up 2-1 right now. So Zach has to uh, win this to get to a game five, or Wadi will be the winner of this tournament. Uh, start contrast in that first set they played, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. By a large margin, I must say. Right now, Wadi trying to fight back. Take this tournament from Zach. Meanwhile, Zach needs two more games. Somebody just really mad they lost in Smash Tour. Same. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that definitely is a salt inducing game. No, it's not. I mean, it can't be. You can't be mad at Smash Tour. Yeah, you can't. Ooh, I can't be how mad at Wadi. He's about to do something. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's actually fair. Look at this, 86%. Oh, the trade! Oh, it's oh. a Out of nowhere, Wadi sneaks it in. Captain Zach looks stunned, but he is defeated. Wadi. That's another day at the office defending Xanadu, and he is your Glitch 3 champion. That forward air, I, I think Zach tried to do a forward air of his own, and he's going to go ahead and win that controller. There you go, controller chaos. So I think he tried to do a forward air of his own, and it just completely ruined his DI. Yeah, it, complete, it caught him off guard, and it was pretty clear about just how he died and how early it was, especially when you factor in the fact that's Battlefield there. Yeah. So. Well yeah. done to him. 3-0 uh, to reset and 3-1 to seal the deal. And Captain Zach, man, those boots were made for walking. I'm right to second place. For walking, man, but yeah, maybe next time. That's unfortunate for him. He's still sitting over here. Uh, I don't know. I can't see his face, but he's still sitting over there. So yeah. that will be glitch three, man. We have all of our winners today, but our grand winner of the singles tournament will be Wadi. So congratulations to Wadi. I no mean, doubt, no just doubt. another day of Xanadu for him, man. Don't matter what you call the event. Yeah. <laughs> he's coming out to win it, so. Absolutely. So thank you.